Let's talk about Insidious. This film was directed by James Wan, most notably starring Patrick Wilson, Rose Byrne, and Lynn Shay. It was released in April 1st of 2011 with a runtime of 1 hour and 43 minutes. Now, let's start off with some positives here. This film had incredible acting, particularly from Patrick Wilson and Rose Byrne. They did a great job as the couple. Um, the kids also did a great job, too, especially Dalton. He, or he at least did a really good job when he was on screen and he wasn't in a coma. So I got to give him credit there. You care for these characters overall, not just because they really sold it with their acting performances, but because they actually cared for each other, and they felt like real people. They had really good cinematography going for this film, too. It's particularly the lighting. They knew how to set it up just right to really sell the scares and to make the atmosphere really creepy. Um, the framing was also set up really good when they were setting up the jump scares. They also did great with the camera work. It was super well done. This film is very jump scare heavy, and it does use a lot of them in this film, but they don't use any false jump scares. Each scare is straight to the point, and it's super well crafted. But it also they also use the really creepy visuals in the atmosphere a lot too. So it's a good balance of both, and it's something to really appreciate. Okay, another thing I want to note is this film's musical score Oh my gosh, the way they used um, Tiny Tim's Tiptoes of the Tulips, I've never seen that song used in such a creepy way. They really set the atmosphere with that song in the scenes where they used it. It was super effective. And pretty much all this, this entire musical score of this film, it's so terrifying. It's practical nightmare fuel. Okay, another major positive. This film is literally one hour and like 43 minutes of runtime. It feels like an hour and 35 at best. This film is super well paced and it doesn't waste your time at any moment. I only had two minor negatives with the film. For one, there was a scene where they had three cross dissolves with the scene only being like less than five seconds long. Um, that's really bad editing and that did bother me a bit. Um, there was also really odd placed comic relief being attempted by these two characters, Tucker and Speck. Um, the comic release was really illy timed, and it just didn't work for me. If you can put those negatives aside, though, this is such a well-crafted horror film. I was so impressed by what they were able to pull off, despite such a low budget in a PG-13 rating. This had an incredible atmosphere and really effective scares. I'm giving Insidious a 10 out of 10. But as always, I hope you enjoyed this review. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next video.